Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Atabegov. I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today, uh, I'd like to talk to you about papain, the natural substance found in papaya. Papaya is a very interesting tree with very uh, sweet and uh, tasty fruits. You can see them here on the picture. And in addition to its yummy nature, it has a lot of very uh, good and um, beneficial substances for our health. For example, you can see here, there are different tannins, flavonoids, saponins, terpenoids, etc. And there are some unique substances like papain. And because it has a lot of interesting natural substances, it can affect our body. Let's talk about the effects that it uh, causes when you take papain. First of all, many of our chronic diseases like atherosclerosis, like uh, strokes, heart problems, hypertension, diabetes, are connected to uh, free radicals that will damage our uh, cells, our tissues, our organs. Also, uh, chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is not effective, it's not protective uh, as opposed to acute inflammation in our body. And we need to struggle with chronic inflammation because it also causes atherosclerosis, it causes uh, different problems, for example, cancer. And, of course, uh, some natural substances in food or in supplements, they may help to prevent these problems. For example, here we see that papain uh, has good uh, antioxidant activities and can really um, neutralize free radicals effectively. Also, it has good anti-inflammatory properties. Uh, decreasing the chronic inflammation. And, by the way, many plant parts of papaya have these properties, but uh, most of the studies are on um, laboratory animals or on cells, not on humans. Here you can see normal blood vessel, and here you can see the blood vessel with a plaque, uh, the atherosclerotic plaque. And if this plaque is formed, for example, in the heart vessels, the person will have decreased blood flow in the heart, and the heart will suffer. It won't get enough blood and oxygen. And if he uh, does some um, exercise or any physical activity, heart will need a lot of uh, oxygen. But it has very few. That's why the heart will suffer, and he will have a pain and shortness of breath. If this plaque is damaged, uh, the thrombosis will occur, thrombocytes, platelets will come, and it will totally clog the artery, and the person will get their myocardial infarction. And scientists uh, found out that papain can uh, decrease the thickening of this smooth uh, muscle wall, it can decrease the accumulation of fat here, and uh, it will decrease the strengthening of this uh, plaque. That's why it can be a good uh, um, remedy to prevent atherosclerosis. Look at these cute mice. One is fat, one is lean. They were both fed with high fat, high, uh, high caloric diet that uh, has a goal to increase their body weight, to make them obese. But when the mouse also got papain, it did not become obese. Their fat accumulation decreased. The fat accumulation in liver also decreased. This is very good for those suffering from steatohepatosis the fat accumulation in liver, which can cause hepatitis or inflammation and cirrhosis. That's why it's an interesting remedy, helping to decrease weight, to decrease inflammation, by the way, connected to obesity, and to decrease accumulation of fat in liver. Of course, it needs to be proved on humans. Here we see that uh, papain can activate MMP2, this is metalloprotease 2. This is enzyme that is important for degradation of uh, fibrotic tissue. Some people are prone to these big and ugly scars uh, that are called uh, keloid or hypertrophic scars. And we don't have really any effective remedy nowadays to treat the scars or prevent them. And in this study, papain showed some promising results and needs to be developed and uh, checked on humans also. More than 5,000 5, people in Brazil uh, were using papain to treat their wounds, to uh, make them clean, to debride them, 
to remove the necrotic tissues to make uh, to help the wounds heal and here the uh, scientists checked if it's uh, dangerous if does it cause mutations or are there any adverse reactions uh, among the adverse reactions they did not uh, find any anything serious and there were no mutations nothing uh, dangerous for our dna and genetic material and really papain is their popular remedy for wound healing because it can help to uh, decrease their infection it can help to uh, eat their necrotic tissues the dead tissues and to clean the wound and they uh, use it uh, they add it to special dressings for wounds here the authors did their uh, big review they took many studies uh, and came to conclusion that papain can be used in any stage of uh, wound healing starting from the acute wound a bleeding wound or um, infected wound or with a lot of uh, necrotic tissues or chronic ulcers and uh, ending with uh, already uh, almost um, healed wounds but there were some side effects like burning or pain here they were developing uh, their dressing of ketosan plus papain ketosan helped to make papain more stable not to be destroyed so it can uh, work better in the wound papain can be used as alternative to digestive enzyme for example we often uh, take enzyme to improve our um, digestion to help our pancreas uh, to digest their food and papain it can help to digest proteins uh, for those people who don't eat animal products for vegans this is enzyme of plant origin and we know that really papain is used in folk medicine for a long time already to treat different uh, gastrointestinal complaints for example in one of the studies they took volunteers with some complaints and uh, they found out that uh, it can help with constipation it can help with bloating and uh, they couldn't do any make any conclusion about heartburn because there were not enough patients this is just for information some patients who cannot eat food themselves uh, they are they put uh, their special tube through their nose into the stomach and uh, uh, give them the food special food uh, through this tube to feed them sometimes of course these uh, tubes can be clogged and uh, they use papain to uh, clean it to remove the debris there the other study on animals they gave substance to the rats to make the guts inflamed and when papain was added it uh, prevented this inflammation that's why papain is a good promising remedy in future for a gut inflammation but of course it needs to be checked on humans and also papain can help to uh, increase the good uh, flora in the guts and decrease the bad flora for those suffering from dysbiosis this is not important for you and me but uh, this is important for laboratories who check blood there is a new method of uh, checking for uh, uric acid in the blood using papain this is the tumor of bile ducts in the liver and uh, this is a very aggressive tumor uh, and the scientists uh, found out that bromelain and papain bromelain is the extract from uh, pineapple can help to decrease this tumor to block it not to let it uh, multiply and uh, decreases its uh, metastasis also it can uh, cause apoptosis meaning self-killing of the cells but again it's preclinical but what is very interesting for me is for the oncologist is uh, this article of 2023 there are some tumors like for example bladder tumor uh, it grows inside and uh, we try to uh, give the chemotherapy not into the vein but through the catheter, catheter into this uh, well, coming close to this tumor the problem is uh, the chemo drug does not come inside doesn't come deep only works on the surface meaning its effectiveness will be very limited but this uh, these uh, scientists they developed a gel where they put papain and chemo drug they apply gel on this tumor and uh, this gel will papain will destroy the protection of the tumor um, lice it and uh, chemodrug will go uh, deeply into the tumor this is a very nice idea let's wait and let's wish luck to these uh, scientists and one more very interesting information 
for me as for oncologist and for many patients who treat uh, tumors with chemotherapy or radiation therapy or for other patients who people who have other diseases who have low platelets uh, the thing is uh, we don't have really effective um, remedies to increase platelets except uh, l thrombopag which is uh, usually expensive and not available everywhere uh, but here we know that uh, papaya can help to increase platelets in those patients that's why for those suffering from this problem please remember this information also papaya was used in some toothpaste to um, no, as a cleaning agent because it helps to clean everything uh, not only wounds but can help to clean their teeth unfortunately it can also damage enamel a little bit and in some countries for example in philippines uh, there is a lot of advertisement they always use papaya lotions oh papaya papaya you want to be white papaya they are uh, their skin is dark a little bit and uh, they all want to be white and uh, that's why this uh, cosmetical uh, things are very popular in some countries and they say that papaya has a good whitening effect and uh, last thing side effects papaya papain can increase the contraction of uh, uterus that's why not for pregnant women otherwise uh, it can cause uh, abortion also it is laxative uh, for those who have constipation may be very good for those who have uh, uh, diarrhea already not very good and we already talked about skin irritation and burning if you use it for wound healing. Dear friends, uh, that's all for today. Uh, please write good comments uh, below. Wish something good to, your, uh, to yourself, to others. Because good words, they always influence everyone. Also good emotions, they improve your health and immunity. So I wish you all good health, out of luck, good mood and just be happy. God bless you. Bye bye.